I'm obsessed. I'm telling you, when Astoria is marketing that they're for the girlies, they are not playing around. I know what you're thinking. What is this cute fit Veronica has on today? <laughs> the flowers, the vibes. We love a good girly athletic set and they're hard to come by. And I have good news for you. Today's video is overview and try on haul on Astoria Activewear, a brand that looks like it's really good at making girly activewear that has the most cute prints and very flattering shapes. So I'm excited to share my thoughts on these pieces with you guys. The fit I have on right now is actually the only fit I've tried from them before, but we do have a package that arrived from Astoria Activewear and I'm going to be trying on different shorts and leggings and sets that they have. I'm excited to try them on for the very first time and share my honest feedback with you guys. This video is actually not sponsored by Astoria Activewear. They have zero clue I'm making this video. Spent my own money on this haul because I thought the pieces were just so cute and I wanted to share in a video with you guys. So of course, as always, I give my honest feedback and opinions, but just wanted to give you that quick disclaimer. We do have measurements to my left for your reference if you're curious. And of course, they're always gonna be in the description box for you as well. Let's see, what size did I get? Looks like everything I purchased in this haul is in a size medium. Normally I'm a size between small and medium. When I bought this set, I got it all in a medium. Based off of that and some of my feedback that I'll share later on this set, I decided I could not do a small in this activewear brand. Opted for all mediums and I'm hoping they fit well, but we can investigate that. Oh, also, if you are new here, my name is Veronica and I make videos centered around fashion and beauty here. Primarily we do clothing reviews for activewear and other fashion brands. And sometimes I like to sprinkle a little bit of beauty, hair stuff, things like that. So if that sounds like your jam, feel free to hit the subscribe button and join the family. It's exciting stuff, at least I uh, try to make it be. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. Let's go ahead and open this baby up and we'll get this little rack filled up. Look at these prints. Oh my God, and I'm dropping things. Little sneak peek. Look at these prints, adorable, I'm obsessed. I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. Look at these pieces. Wow. I am obsessed. We got the paces. Of course, it makes sense to review this first outfit that I have on. So here is the fit. You got the sport bra and shorts. These are the Lux Balance short, and then we have the Lux Balance Miracle sports bra. And this is in their primrose print. And so you got the white color with the beautiful yellow flowers. And then you also have like the leaves, which are slightly purple. Anything yellow and floral, I'm bound to be obsessed with. So when I saw this fit on Instagram, I snatched it right away. For the top, again, this is the Miracle sports bra. This is in a size medium. You have kind of like a square neckline here. You do have decent side boob coverage. You just see a little bit of my extra fat right here. And then it does go right under the bust. I am a little bit bigger chested. So for me, this really goes right underneath. There's not a lot of extra lining. And if you can see, there's kind of like the seam that cuts in the middle and then two seams that cuts down here. I honestly could kind of do without it, but I get that they did it for aesthetic purposes. I think with a bigger chest, it can be a little bit awkward. This kind of makes it cut in just slightly. It's still definitely wearable. Here you have the back of the sports bra. Very cute, simple kind of look. Their logo is in the center here. You can kind of tell that the sports bra rides up my back slightly. If it's too small, that's what's gonna happen. If you have a bigger chest, you can tell it kind of pinches a little bit where my lats are as well, which isn't ideal. I do still think it's doable. The straps are very thick and the fabric is comfortable. With tops, I typically do get a medium and I never get a large, but with this top, I would even consider sizing up to a large. Definitely, if you're between size up and if you do have a bigger chest, consider sizing up entirely. Here is their shorts and I am actually obsessed with these shorts. They are not seamless. Here's what it looks like in the back. So these shorts are in their free form brushed fabric and they for sure feel brushed. The material makeup is 75% nylon and 25% spandex. These are some 
supposed to be very drying, so sweat friendly, and they do have more of like a cooling kind of texture, and they are compressive, which I enjoy. Lengthwise, they don't have the inseam posted, so let's go ahead and check it out. I just measured it, and it's about five inches. With these shorts, they also do have a seam at the bottom, so that kind of helps keep it compressed, and it doesn't roll as much, and I do find this to be very stretchy, so it is thick thigh friendly. There are no seams at the top, so you don't get that digging in or rolling. You do have a very flattering V seam. There's no sort of scrunch with these leggings. I find that the print and the way the fabric just hugs my glutes, it's still very flattering. And for me, I find that they're very good at concealing my hip dips in the back because of the print of the material. I think this Primrose set is so cute. I always get compliments when I wear it and I try to wear this as often as I can because I'm obsessed. The top was $56 and the bottoms were $65. So a little bit higher on the price range, but I definitely would recommend. I myself am going to get a lot of use out of the set. Now let's try another one of these babies on. I've never tried them before. I'm very excited. All right, so we have the next set on and it's the pink number. This is their cherry print set and I'm telling you with Astoria is marketing that they're for the girlies. They are not playing around. They truly are. These prints are heaven. Now with how much I'm obsessed with their aesthetic, there's still some stuff I don't love about this set. So let's just go ahead and get into it with the top. This is their Lux Blossom Sports Bra in a size medium. Again, the print is cherry. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous print. Nice pastel pink with darker pink cherries. Now I already owned the last top and I knew it was a little bit too small so I considered sizing up but I literally never wear larges in sports bras or tops of any kind so I thought maybe it was just that style and this style was a little more full coverage and it would work but I'm kind of thinking this brand is made for the skinny girls which is fine but for someone who maybe has a little bit more curve or weight you definitely will need to size up for this brand. My chest is completely squished in on the top there's actually some spillage it doesn't look so bad now but when i first put it on they were popping out it's definitely constricting right here on my rib cage the back is beautiful i'm obsessed with it it's just again this just feels very tight and it does pinch my lats just a little bit not too bad it could be worse i will say it might be hard to see it in this lighting but this color is so so pastel you can kind of see the outline of the cup pads i'm actually going to try to take the cup pads off and see if that kind of helps with this squeezing situation that's going on. Give me one second. Taking out cup pads when you're bigger chested is almost always so much better. <laughs> bigger chested women know what I'm talking about. There's just so much more room to breathe. All their sports bras come with cup pads and I will say their cup pads are really decent quality. I've definitely seen way worse at other brands, especially Instagram brands, but this has actually a little bit of padding in it too to shape your chest. I definitely prefer the sports bra without the cup pads. I can't see the circles anymore. I can still see where where, like the seams to separate the cut pads are. I can live with that. Of course, if you don't wear cut pads, you're always prone to nippage and that risk. For the shorts, these are their Lux Blossom shorts and they're actually also in a size medium, like everything in this haul. And they're very long. They're definitely longer than the last pair of shorts. I know a lot of ladies prefer like six inch shorts, which these definitely are. And they do have the seams in the bottom, just like the last shorts to help keep your shorts from rolling. These shorts in the back, you can see there's actually a very obvious scrunch as well, which could be cute. I know some people are into that. For me, I have to kind of be in the mood for that look, but definitely keep that in mind. If you're not a fan of obvious scrunches, then stay away from these shorts because for sure it is obvious. It's definitely giving the kind of like a butthole vibe in my opinion, personally. It's all based on your preference, obviously. Uh, definitely high-waisted. It looks like this is the same material makeup with 75% nylon, 25% spandex. With these leggings, I definitely think you could still do leg day in them. I personally don't think they're 100% squat proof just with the color. For the top, I got it for $41.76. And for the bottoms, I got it for $46.80. Definitely think this is a very cute set. Definitely compressive as it's advertised, but I definitely would recommend sizing up at the top. And in the bottoms, if you're in between, size up. Otherwise, you could probably stick to your true size. We got two more fits to try. So uh, let's put on the next one. Here we have our next 
fit. And again, aesthetics are on point. There's just a couple of things I would change and we'll go into that. There's a little bit of sun here. So let me move over on this side of the screen. The top is their Live Lux Open Back Top. I got this in a size medium. And then the bottoms are their Lux Balance Full Length Leggings. And of course the size medium. Cutest zebra print. I love this. I am obsessed. They do have a zebra top that matches, but I thought that might be a little too much. So I got this white top. Let's go ahead into the details of the white top and what I think. So here you have the front. Of course it's white. And with that, you can actually see the circle cut pads, which is very disappointing because it's one of my biggest pet peeves. The back is actually gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Makes me feel like some Greek goddess, to be honest. And it's very cute. I just, I love this aesthetic. I love asymmetrical vibes. I will say because it is asymmetrical, I feel more tightness here. Obviously there's none on the other side and it kind of pulls the whole fabric towards my right side. It was kind of a weird feeling putting it on. It's still even now in the front shifts towards my right side because that's where all the fabric is. But overall, just being able to see the cup pads makes me the most disappointed in this top. Sizing wise, again, it's very tight on the ribs. So next time I buy from Astoria, I'm definitely just gonna fully size up. I'll give you like an update on what I think. But other than that, if this was just a little bit more solid and less see-through, I would be obsessed with this top and I would deal with the discomfort because the aesthetic is so good. Like I, I just love this. I am obsessed with the back, with a tattoo, okay? on point. You might not be able to see because white tends to like blare out in the lighting. You can also see like the seam in the middle. They do have a seam that separates the cut pads, which is nice. Again, you can see the seam, so not great. Let me try taking these cut pads out and seeing kind of what that does. Here is a top without any cut pads. So I definitely think it helps in terms of adjusting the size and it feels way more comfortable without the cut pads for me. But with that, I will say you could definitely see it nippage. If it's cold, it will be popping. So keep that in mind. If that's something you're self-conscious about, you will definitely need to keep the cut pads in and just live with seeing them. Now going into the leggings, these are very cute and honestly very comfortable. For me, I'm usually a seamless girl through and through. So it can be kind of weird wearing more compression seam filled leggings. These are also brushed on top of it so it just feels like a little bit slippery. I will say I find myself pulling these leggings up sometimes even though these are hard to get on. These were a size medium which is my size up. I think they're meant to be oppressive so that's why it was hard to put on. They are high-waisted and in the back you can see they have their normal B seam which is very flattering on the glutes and of course you have a pattern so that helps with any like cellulite concealment or hip dips. I do find these leggings to be super flattering and cute and I definitely have like no camel toe issues. There's no front seam, anything like that. So overall a win, the only issue I have is that I have to pull them up and I'm not a huge fan of compression leggings, but they're advertised to be compression. These leggings are 25% spandex, 75% nylon. So same material makeup as the other bottoms. These also just feel very durable. Like it's not gonna pill or get damaged if I rub my thighs together. Overall, I find these leggings to be a win. I just wish they wouldn't slide as much, but I think that just comes with the territory the material and I think I just need to get used to it because this is my first time wearing this type of legging. But overall I really recommend it. I think they're flattering and they're pretty budget friendly for leggings. I got the top for $44.80 and I got the bottoms for $59.20. So more mid-range in terms of athletic wear. A little surprise the leggings were a little bit cheaper than some of the shorts. I know Astoria does like 20% discounts here and there so I definitely took advantage. So I saved the best for last this piece right here and I bought the matching headband. It's the gingham print. I'm so excited. Let's put it on. I hope it doesn't fail me. Let's go. I am obsessed. So cute. So girly. So fun. Had to do the headband because come on. I feel like it completes the look. You know what I mean? This is their Lux Balance shorts. And then we also have the Lux Balance ruched sports crop. And of course the Lux Balance headband all in the beige gingham print. I love neutrals, but the gingham print still gives that girly flair. Here you can see the print and that ruched sports crop. You have these adorable ruched straps. And then of course you have the sports bra with my chest size. You can see it goes right under the chest, not much lining. Here you have the back, just another ruched detail uh, with that extra strap there. Very cute, just gives it that feminine flair. The bottoms, I believe, are actually the exact same ones as the first one I showed you. They still have the same features, same exact material, 75% nylon, 25% spandex, and they have that same high rise. You do have that same V seam in the back. This is what the full back looks like. And you can see that the rise is the same. It's 
a five inch short. Again, it has the seam at the bottom, but it's still very stretchy. So it's not gonna roll on you and it doesn't compress you too much, at least for me. This set in particular, maybe it's like the patterns and that affects things, but I do find that these shorts are more compressive than the Primrose set that I bought. And again, I did buy these at separate times. So I don't know if maybe something changed there, but I will say when I first put it on, I was like, these are too small for me. I do think this top fits better than any of the other ones I've tried on. And of course you do have the headband, which is so cute. Let me tell you though, your girl's got a big head. So this is pretty tight. Still gonna wear it though. Beauty is pain. I'm just kidding. Don't go into pain for beauty. I do think it might stretch out over time, but just be aware of that. If you have a bigger head, maybe skip the headband. Don't have a measurement for my head, so can't really help you there. In the headband, you can hopefully see that rubber kind of, there it is, right here. And that's just to help cling to your head and so it's not sliding around. And I will say, the headband doesn't slide around. Might be because it's too small for my head, but very cute. They still have like their logo, of course, here. And obviously it's just cute to have like a whole matching vibe. But this is the whole look. I am so obsessed because I am kind of aesthetics over anything. Don't think I would wear any of these to the gym. Like this one is not squat proof. It's pretty light colored. I don't know, the fabric's just not my fave for a gym vibe. The shorts I got for 46.80 and the top I got for 40.32. Again, pretty mid size range. I think the first set I just bought it at a time where there were zero discounts. And I did buy this as a set. So they do discount it a little bit when you do that. Overall, my thoughts on the brand, it definitely runs a little bit small. I think if you're someone who fluctuates between sizes or has more curves, definitely size up. Prints are on point, no disputing that. Aesthetics on point. This brand is not super expensive, not extremely affordable either. They're really in that mid range of like 40 to $60 for every piece. And I really recommend, I've had a good experience. They ship in a decent amount of time and the fabric quality is really good. I've had no issues with any of the seams so far in my first set. I just wish they didn't run so small. I think they should consider that. But I do know that their Lux fabric is intended to be more compressive, so keep that in mind. But otherwise, I really like this brand. I look forward to seeing what they have in the future. And this was a really fun review to make. This was the last piece I tried on, so that will conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you feel inclined to. I try to make videos every other Sunday. And if you did like this video or you found it helpful, please hit that like button. It helps let the algorithm know to push it out to other people to see and thus keeps the channel going. If you have any questions about this brand or suggestions for other brands for me to review, any comments really, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I read every single comment I get since I'm a smaller channel and I do try to respond to any questions that I get as well. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!